Let's take a look at how we can use a number expander to see what our number's made up of. If we look at 3,000, we can actually think of it as 3,000s, no hundreds, no tens, and no units. But we can actually also think of it like this. If we expand it out like that, it's 3,000 units. It's also 300 tens and no units. But we could also express it as 30 hundreds, no tens and no units, or 3,000s, no hundreds, no tens and no units. And it all means 3,000. Now let's try a different number. We've got 4,375. So if we expand that, you can see we've got the four in the thousands place, three of the hundreds, seven of the tens, and five of the units. Now, if we thought of our thousands and our hundreds and tens and how many units that would give us, we would have 4,375 units. But we might like to actually express some of them as tens. So we would have 437 tens and five units. We could also think of that as 43 hundreds, seven tens and five units. But actually, you could also make this as 43 hundreds and 75 units. So there are some other possibilities. Or you could think of it all in its unit place like that. So why don't you make a number expander and play around with numbers to see different ways of making that same number?